Okay, Aquarius. So let's see what's going on with you. This is just going to be a random read. I don't know what's coming up, what's coming out, but let's just get to it. Thank you, God, for blessing this message for the Aquarius. Uh, tell the Aquarius what they need to know at this present time. If people are coming to the reading with questions, Lord God, give them the answers that they seek. Let's get into it. All right, so let's see what is going on for the Aquarius. All right, so these judgment. Okay, so you're right between or right before um, maybe finalizing some stage, some chapter in your life here. You're really looking over what has happened, what went right, what relationships you need to cut off, keep. Some people are coming back and wanting to have connections with you. Yeah, you're at a place of introspection with the hanged one. You're at a place of understanding. Um, your part in certain situations the eight of pentacles you're working on yourself with the eight of pentacles you're also looking at cycles that maybe you engaged in uh, things that were cyclical things that kept you going in a circle you know kept you in the same place it was a complete 360 that you were doing each and every time maybe with engaging with a certain group of people or a certain person let's see the two of cups this could have been about love. This could be about friendship also. Maybe engaging with groups of people. Yeah, the three of pentacles and the four of cups. So this was maybe, some of you thought that some connection was one that you would get married in or that this person would marry you or you would marry them. Or this is how they were thinking about you. But it was like forever and continuously recreating the relationship. There's like a stop and go. And then there was also rejection. You may be rejecting this person now or they're rejecting you. Somebody just didn't see the true nature or the, the value of the relationship. And maybe one person is over it now. They don't want to play the game. These cards read as game, you know, just like a game, a cycle here. What else does Aquarius need to know? The Six of Wands. You need to choose yourself. The Six of Wands literally says strutting off, you know, in victory with the Six of Wands there. Rest on your principles, your morals, whatever it is you believe to be true and right, because this is going to get you at a place of being victorious, not engaging, maybe in some scandal or scandalous behavior some sex scandal also with the six of wands talks about let's see the six of cups too this could be with someone that you have a significant past with someone from your past someone who has children or you have children with them this could be someone who you thought was a soulmate or is a soulmate but they didn't show up in the highest regard for their connection and maybe even for you with the six of cups it says that if you make the choice to put yourself first, you could meet a soulmate also. Um, somebody that um, it'll be simple with. The Five of Swords. This talks about reversal and interjection. So when somebody sees you at a place of happiness, stability, they could even want to come back and interject and have make things reverse for you, okay? And then not go well for you. So keep... Keep that in mind, There, there's ulterior motive. Yeah, magician in the Five of Swords, so they can come back and say things that will get you back, you know, liking them, being wanting to be in a connection with them. This could be a masculine also. The magician talks about pure masculine energy. So it could be a man or it could just be somebody with a lot of masculine energy. They could say things to make you, they know how to put the words together. They know how to, uh, make the magic happen in terms of language because the magician governs language here so it's like this person will come back saying things that they know just aren't true but they have a motive here an ulterior one and uh, they're trying to disrupt yeah disrupt or distract you uh, have reversal happen for you yeah the ace of cups especially if you have a newfound spirituality um, maybe even a new person in your life. This person could try to come in and uh, again say things. Some of you, even in the face of adversity, even in the face of um, 
people being jealous of you in the face of uh, people having ulterior, ulterior motive, in the face of people trying to take you down, uh, maybe even losing connection, uh, maybe not even uh, talking to certain person or individuals. It's like they're trying to manifest you back or you were trying to manifest new love, maybe even more self-love, like you, you redefined yourself. It's like somebody was talking down to you or they weren't treating you in the best manner. And it's like you went your own way with the magician and the ace of cups and you just kind of redefined yourself. Um, maybe even worked on yourself internally, externally here. What is this about for the Aquarius? Yeah, the four of pentacles. Um, this person definitely could be coming back, right? And they could just be saying the sweet nothings to you to try to get you to manipulate you to stay in this relationship, stay in this toxic stuff connection. They have nothing for you. They're offering nothing, but they just want to hold you. They want to possess you. They look at you like a possession, you know, one that they can put up on the shelf then take down, play with, put back on the shelf. They also want to like put their will on you. If they just want to have you know a fun time, if they want to be a bachelor for the rest of their life, they want you to be accepting of that. Okay. And they want you to just to play the game. You know, they want you to get in line here with the King of Swords. Someone also gonna feel like they're smarter than you or something about wits or um, they know again, language and words and being eloquent with their speech is coming up again. Somebody knows what to say or, and when to say it. Maybe to manipulate your emotions and manipulate your thoughts. I'm hearing that this person says things to you, Aquarius, um, and, you know, to kind of get a rise out of you. Now, this could be a rise in terms of um, this. will I'll say this because this will make the Aquarius maybe fall in love with me or you know, have gained more emotions for me, or maybe even to get a rise out of you in terms of wanting to uh, take you to a negative place, right? But this person feels like they can kind of jerk your emotions around and you don't know what's happening, but I'm getting like in in this reading, you know what, what's going on? The death card in the tower, it could be a Scorpio because you've been here with this person you already know that the relationship is dying, that it's transitioning into something else. This could also just be saying, let's be friends because you already know that, you know, um, so the things that you guys haven't dealt with, it's just going to resurface. It's going to come back to the surface and you're going to, it's going to fall apart again. I don't know if this person really knows that, you know, that this is all a big game to them. You know that they're lying that they're not being truthful about what it is they want with you. What does this person want to say? Whomever that the Aquarius is coming to the reading for, what do they want to say to the Aquarius? What does this person want to say to the Aquarius? Knight of Pentacles. So they want to say that, you know, they've always been dedicated, loyal to you, Aquarius, that it's always been you, but they have not made the offer of stability with you. They also could be saying the relationship is getting kind of stale, old, boring. It just says it needs to be more fun in the connection. This could be for those of you who are coupled. And this could also be for those of you who have been in this long-term situationship off and on, I don't know, three of cups. They want to say that this course, this could mean that they want to long-term, slow and steady date you you know, have you as one of the people that they date, they want to express their emotions to you with the three of cups, but because of some childhood or learned behavior, early education, they don't know how to express their emotions here. This person could want to tell you that they have a lot of friends, you know, maybe even friends with benefits and they want you to be one. They want you to just be a friend with benefit. They could be telling you the eight of cups, um, something about emotionally checked out. They know that you have emotionally checked out and that it's, it's bringing them a lot of sorrow, a lot of grief. You could be saying this to your person, Aquarius. Well, this is what the per your person wants to say to you. Emotionally checked out, eight of cups. Um, they could be saying they know that with the eight of cups, uh, Three of Cups and the Eight of Cups. 
this person wants to make a commitment to you, but they have, at this point, they have drugged their feet. They're not even dragging their feet. They're just, they're continuously dragging their feet in terms of doing it. It's almost like dangling a carrot before you, Aquarius. They feel like you are the one that is getting away with the eight of cups. With the three of cups, it says the one that's, that has gotten away and wanting to pull you back in and, and reel you back in and do something big and major with you, like move in together or whatnot. They feel like with you, there's success, there's triumph, there's victory, but they can feel you moving away from them. And this is a tough emotional decision to walk away, or they could be saying they're walking away because they, maybe they know that they can't ever give you what you really want. Nine of swords, it's like they know that they treated you poorly Something about their emotions and their thoughts are attacking them at night. Maybe they have nightmares. This is a night shift worker. This could be you. This is somebody who has trouble sleeping. This is somebody whose sleep pattern is off. Uh, this is somebody, uh, again, I don't know, this could be visitation, doing a dream space or, you know, astro projecting themselves to you or feeling like they can't reach you anymore. This is somebody, okay, so what do they want to tell the Aquarius? The two of so yeah, they, they feel like you blocked them off or you blocked them out. There's a mental blocking out and there's an emotional blocking out. It's like they're saying to themselves, Aquarius is okay with walking away from me and not even knowing where they're going. They don't even have another person in mind. They're not walking away from me and going to somewhere else. They're just so confident in knowing that they're going to find something else or that it's better to walk away than to stay here. They're saying that they know that you made this a uh, tough emotional decision, but it was one out of self-respect. Also, also, you like, this was self-analysis. You, you you know, you made um, the analysis that maybe you were giving way too much and getting very little. It's like this person is really understanding the, the part that they play here, but at the same time, not knowing how to come back to you not knowing if they can even give you what you want they're seeing your value Aquarius all right so what is the advice for the Aquarius here okay so you got the eight I mean excuse me the queen of pentacles showing up all right so again it's something about value understanding your value knowing that you're a good catch right now that is the advice for you focus on yourself focus on your health and well-being this is a very fertile lucky time for you um, do the work on yourself and you know external work in terms of bringing in income money making you could be a parent you could be a working parent you don't have to be it's, it's all about you right now and growth this could be like growth of your hair growth of everything growth just more so abundance and growth and that's what you're working on and you're working towards it says that you could your uh, romantic life could come into a more like stable and committed you know existence or a way of being but you have to be in that energy of the queen of pentacles ready to nurture and cultivate a relationship what is what is the advice for the aquarius wow the queen of pentacles again yeah so that's like double confirmation you need to be focused on you the queen of pentacles she's focused on herself luxury the luxury of her of her um, she has the money. She uh, is stable emotionally. This could even be her earth magic. This could even be doing some ritual, beauty ritual. Maybe you need to get a new um, uh, beauty rut routine in terms of how you know uh, you want to come off. You need to put more money into you, more focus into you. You know, you're a good person at the core of you, but people can't see that. You know, therefore you have to you know, attract, and that is what the Queen of Pentacles is about. This is a pentacle, so it's about the realness of a thing. It's about the manifestation. Some of you are about to come into manifestation of your dreams, of your hopes and your wishes. Um, you've done the work, you're doing the work. The Queens are the doers of the Zodiac, excuse me, not the Zodiac, of the Toro. You come to some enlightenment, okay, in terms of your worth again. Somebody really tried to make, you, you know, question you or question your worth or somebody put you like the underdog, you know, what is this about? 
Two of Pentacles, the work that you've done in the Two of Pentacles is going to show up in the Four of Pentacles here with the Hermit card. It says that you're looking for answers outside of yourself, but you already know what the answer is with the Hermit card. It also talks about a change of personality. You know, stop thinking that you have to put on this act or this front or you have to Two of Pentacles or that everything is always up in the air. Or that you have to be in maybe um, unstable relationships. What is this about? This also could be about money too. You know, managing your money better. Yeah, the seven of pentacles. Some of you are waiting for money. It says that maybe you're doing a juggling act with your finances. Some of you want to get cosmetic work done, but it looks like you're going to get that answer or that expertise or you're going to come to another level of existing when it, when it comes to your roots, your home, uh, your, your feminine energy with the emperor. Um, yeah, the will of fortune. It looks like once you put a lot of time, energy, effort into yourself, it just seems as if things change, okay? Uh, you start to move that will in your favor the fates the destiny starts to move it's a, it's a timing issue also it's a change of personality you don't have to deal with you don't have to um, allow for something else or somebody else to um, shift your focus some of you may have two ways of earning income and that is okay you may be on the fence about this also it says that it won't be like this you know forever you will come to a level of independence and stability some of you have you want to come into maybe um, new groups of people. Your psychic abilities are increasing. If you have any or someone around you, their abilities are increasing. Your, your, your social group sector is changing or has changed here. Finish what you have started because it's going to pay off well for you. Aquarius, continuously put the energy effort behind it. Stop having a plan B, C, A, and D. Only plan A. It must work. It has to work. You're at a place of maybe juggling, transferring money, looking at the profit and the loss of. But it says that whatever it is you're doing right now, it, it isn't stressful. It's like you've come into some rhythm of this, some groove. That is the advice for you. Your advice more so is just more focused on yourself and your finances, uh, your money, because it looks like you're going to come into a very stable way of living. Um, but it's, it's like you are, some of you are really trying to align yourself with somebody to gain and garner that stability with within a partnership. But the person that you were looking towards didn't want what you wanted. They didn't want to be in a committed relationship and build anything together they wanted fun in the sun or they wanted money from you or they wanted to take from you they saw that you were valuable let's get aquarius some future energy here the five of cups somebody's gonna miss you regret and remorse because you've walked away and turned your back um, maybe from some uh, karmic situation here, one that you were doing all the work in. Somebody took you for granted and they know that they did and they're going to have to rest in that energy with the Ten of Wands there. They're going to have to carry that burden maybe for the rest of their lives. Yeah, because you have extracted yourself from the situation. Now they can think and see clearly and now they're seeing that you're the one without distraction. Now they know that you matter. Wow. But this is really over with the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Um, come to a place of understanding that this is this is what you're going to get from this, okay? And the level of justice, um, fairness, things being made right will come to you, or you'll come into a place of balance and harmony because you made a decision. Somebody will feel in karmically indebted to you moving forward, especially when they see you getting what is due unto you again they're just gonna feel like they took you for granted they did not put the energy the time behind this relationship yeah six of swords and you just made the rational decision to move away from this and take care of you put energy into you it made sense to let go 
of the hurt from previous relationships and not carry it. Also let go of that self-sabotaging side of yourself, you know, being overly uh, open and getting and willing to take on the brunt of the relationship that could, you know, be self-sabotaging also because the other person feels like they don't need to do anything. Three of Swords, in the future, somebody's going to be really heartbroken over you because there is no communication. They're really going to have to rest in the fact that it is over. They're going to have to rest in the fact that maybe this event that took place or these words that were exchanged or the fact that they took for, again, took you for granted or uh, that they kept the relationship up in the air. Or they kept you as a third party. That it's just going, it's just not going to work, you know, and you guys are not going to be together. And they're going to have to really understand that it, that uh, it's over, it's done. This is their karma. The nine of wands. Yeah, they'll just continuously keep looking backwards. You know, continuously looking backwards, looking at this relationship, looking at how they messed, messed things over, and how they were non-committal. They weren't giving. Um, they'll be seeing if they want to fight for this, but it looks like you'll be on your way to better. Yeah to maybe even a stable relationship, maybe a new marriage. Uh, it seems as if you know this, Aquarius. With the High Priestess and the Six of Cups, some of you are going to be using your, some of you are going to work from home and using your, your abilities, your God-given talents and your abilities here. Wow, you're going to create something very abundant for yourself. This is really good. So it's just like you really just need to focus on you because you're going to get to a place of, you're birthing something you're in the middle of you're uh, something is increasing for you it could be psychic awareness abilities here or you have some hidden talents that you need to get you know uh mentorship or you need to foster these talents maybe you can sing maybe you can da dance act uh maybe i don't know you know but it's just about you right now because you've been putting too much focus outward into other people into one specific person one specific relationship and it's not getting you anywhere so the universe is saying focus on you you have to have some level of um self-centeredness you know some level of uh, self-focus be self-directed because if you're not and you're just continuously giving and giving and giving you're going to come to a place of depletion you have nothing right so the universe doesn't want you there so put more focus more energy more time into you it's going to pay off this person will regret the treatment how they treated you um this is really about you resting on the energy of i really have to let this go i really have to let it go energetically mentally emotionally even if that means stop listening to tarot card readings about people coming back about reconciliation if that's not what you want if you know this person isn't who you need to reconcile with then you don't need to have that in your spirit you need to let it go completely listen to if you like the tarot listen to readings that resonate with you and your frequency on another level maybe about finances maybe about personal development maybe pull cards for yourself uh, but it should not be about you know you haven't still having that energy with within you within your sphere because it'll always keep you in a place of you know either stuck or wanting to go backwards so Aquarius this is a time for you to be self-directed self-focused self-centered have that healthy level of selfishness um, because it's going to propel you into getting the life that you say you want because you're birthing something the high priestess and then the empress here this is conception and then this is the birth of it so it's like you need to really foster this is really like um you know like some psychic abilities you could be a light worker of some sort you could do something in the you know in the esoteric realm in the read tarot cards whatever it is but it's just like you the universe is trying to get you to a place of focus on you focus on you focus on you focus on nothing else but you what are your goals where do you want to be in the next five years um spiritually mentally financially well, you know they just really want you to be on you on you and not on a relationship because you tend to lose yourself in that and you give too much so that's what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. I want to see some you. You know, let's put some eyes down there. You, or, or put me, myself, and I. Yeah, that's what we're, you know, the focus is for right now. For those of you who it resonates with, that's what you need to be focused on. So 
down in the comment section, what we're going to do is we're going to type me, myself, and I. Me, myself, and I. And we're just going to see that. We're going to kind of manifest corporately. This is the energy that the Aquarius uh, who resonates with the reading. This is what they need to be in. Focus on me, myself, and I. Okay? You're going to pull all of that energy that you've been giving outward. You're going to pull it back into yourself and imagine what you're going to look like, how you're going to be. How you're going to be transformed from the inside out so aquarius me myself and i down in the comment section go over to the website book a reading so you can pull energy for yourself uh, come to the lives lives happen tuesday thursday and sunday night sunday night 8 30 p.m eastern standard time i do a collective reading and then i also answer questions so come for that you could ask me a question by texting your question to the number below um Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.